That's a lot of black space. What can you come up with when looking at this? Can you fill it with images, colors, movement? But this is not going to be a story about the endless fantastic capabilities of your imagination. No, this is a story about me. And when I look at this black screen, I see precisely what is there. Absolutely nothing. When I was a child, I spent hours with my friends pretending to live through some made-up adventure. And whilst I played along and understood the stories behind these games, I could never see the castles, dragons, wizards of our fictive world in my mind. This never struck me as odd. I just assumed that's how it was for everyone. I had no idea that it was possible to see images in your mind. So I lived a big part of my life assuming that when people said, picture this or imagine that, it was just figures of speech. The concept of visual imagination was non-existent to me. It wasn't until I was way into my thirties that I stumbled upon an article called Aphantasia, Why Some People Cannot Visualize. A blind mind's eye, that's what the article called it. A condition that prevents you from being able to visualize imagery. It was the first time in my life that I realized that other people could actually make images appear in their mind. From that moment onwards, I became obsessed with the idea of visual imagination. To me, being able to see things in your head seemed like a superpower given to everyone I knew, except me. My mind's blackness, that had always been there, suddenly stood out to me as an unused space, a room that had to be filled. I was convinced that if only I tried hard enough, I too would be able to make images appear in my mind. I spent hours sitting with closed eyes just trying to conjure up an image. The face of a loved one. A past holiday. My breakfast. Nothing. I had always loved taking pictures of every place I visited, every event I attended. But now all I could see it as was a pathetic attempt at compensating for my mind's incapability of preserving images on its own. Before, I had also never minded the fact that I was bad at remembering what people looked like. But suddenly, whenever I did not recognize someone, I got upset at my brain for not being able to keep a hold of people's faces. Suddenly, my day seemed filled with reminders upon reminders of what I was not able to do. Then, one day I was working on a project with a colleague, and she told me that she found it impossible to focus on the task at hand because her mind just kept being flooded with images. Memories, faces, places, she said she just couldn't control it, and it was keeping her from being in the moment. And that was when a thought began to grow in my head. Maybe this blackness in my head, that for so many years I had only seen as a lack of things, in reality, made room for something else. Room to focus, to be present and rooted in reality. My mind might be blind, but my view of the world is clear. Yes, that's a lot of black space, but for me that's just how it's meant to stay. <laughs>